the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 96, 1 Samuel 22-21, Psalm 34 Offering the heaven through prayer David, who fled to the Philistines through the land of Nob, saved his life by pretending to be insane in the face of crisis and then built up his broken self-esteem with prayer. First point, the covenant between David and Jonathan overcame the logistics of political power. David and Jonathan met for the first time in Ephesus, Damim, where they made a covenant. The covenant made between these two can be seen as one of the most beautiful covenants made between people. The covenant was made after David killed Goliath. Jonathan was someone who always prioritized the honor of God, and so when he met someone who valued God's honor more than he did, he was utterly blown away. Jonathan therefore tried his best to protect David from his father Saul. When Jonathan realized that he could not stop his father, he helped David escape and made another covenant with him. When they reunited in the desert, David and Jonathan were able to confirm their lasting covenant, and it was here that Jonathan knew that David was going to be the next king. When Jonathan died in the hands of the Philistines, David truly grieved. David found Jonathan's son, and ensured that he ate with the royal family in order to keep his covenant. A few hundred years ago, Jacob's two sons, Judah and Benjamin, showed beautiful brotherly love when Judah volunteered to stay as a slave instead of Benjamin. A few hundred years later, Jonathan from the tribe of Benjamin and David from the tribe of Judah showed everlasting friendship. Years later, when the twelve tribes became divided, the tribe of Judah and Benjamin stuck together and formed South Judah. As such, the relationship between Judah and Benjamin tribes had a lasting and a strong bond. Second point, David and Jonathan shed sad tears when they had to separate. The reason Saul decided to kill David was because of Samuel's prophecy and Saul's confirmation of this prophecy. Samuel said, The Lord has torn the kingdom of Israel from you today and has given it to one of your neighbors, to one better than you. So when Saul decided David definitely had to die, there was nothing Jonathan can do to stop him. But Jonathan tried to test his father one last time and then told David that they should decide what he was to do from now. Saul asked about David during the royal dinner when he saw that he was missing, to which Jonathan replied that David had asked for his pardon to return home. At this, Saul told Jonathan his strong feelings towards killing David. Jonathan was truly able to confirm that his father was going to try to kill David no matter what. So he went and told David to flee with a heavy heart. Not having a choice, David agreed, and the two friends stood in sorrow and confirmed their covenant whilst the shedding tears. Third point, Saul killed 85 priests in Nob for the reason that they gave David a piece of bread. Whilst learning away from Saul, David went to Nob 
where priest Ahimelech was. When Ahimelech saw David, he trembled in fear. In order to calm him down, David hid the reason he came. David answered Ahimelech the priest, The king sent me on a mission and said to me, No one is to know anything about the mission I am sending you on. As for my men, I have told them to meet me at a certain price. David was able to receive some bread by telling this lie. Some time later, Saul came to this price and killed eight fire priests for the reason that they helped David. This made headlines to everyone, and it was indeed a political statement that anyone who helped David was to be put to death by the king. Fourth point, David flees to the west side of the Philistine land in order to escape from Saul. After receiving some bread from Nob, David fled away from Israel as it was a very dangerous price for him. David went to the hometown of Goliath, and although it was an extremely dangerous place, the reason he went to Gath was because it was still close to Israel but outside its borders at the same time. But when the Philistine soldiers saw David, they were shocked. David was not just here for political exile, but was someone that had killed their hero Goliath. When David knew how dangerous the situation was, he pretended to be insane. David knew that the king would not kill someone they thought was insane, and so he did his best to look and appear insane. Fifth point. After saving his life from acting insane, David confessed that the lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. After escaping from Saul, David went to the Philistine land and pretended to be insane in order to save his life. He acted so well that the king was convinced. David used it to his advantage that kings do not pain themselves by killing insane people, although David's self-esteem was rock bottom. David praised God, which can be seen in Psalm 34. David confessed that lions may grow weak, but those who seek God lack no good thing. When David reached a dead end, David opened the doors of heaven and prayed to God. David was someone who reached out to God at all times. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.